let's start to have a look at the objectives first uh, the first objective is to distinguish between affirmative and negative sentences التمييز بين الجمل المثبتة والمنفية second how to negate sentences in present continuous كيفية نفي الجمل المصاغة بزمن الحاضر المستمر and finally is when to use the present continuous tense استخدام أو متى يستخدم هذا الزمن Structure and use. We will start by talking about the structure and use. التركيب والاستخدام. تركيبة هذا الزمن هي عبارة عن am is are plus verb one plus ing. Of course, we use am with i. We use is with singular nouns. نستخدم is مع الأسماء المفردة أو ما ينوب عن he, she, it. And we use are with plural nouns. نستخدم are مع أسماء الجمع أو ما ينوب عنها من we, you, و they. It is used to talk about an action that is going on at the same or at the time of speaking. استخدام هذا الزمن يستخدم للتحدث عن فعل ما يحدث لحظة التحدث. And if you have a look at the time line, وإذا نظرنا إلى الخط الزمني الموجود أمام للتوضيح, we see that the action, الفعل أو الحدث, بدأ وما يزال مستمر لحظة الكلام وقد يمتد إلى المستقبل. Okay. Now we will try to form sentences in the present continuous depending on the pictures that we will see now. سنصف الآن الصور التي أمامنا باستخدام هذا الزمن Number one What can you see in the picture? Of course, he is a man But he Because we have he Then we have to use is He is Reading A Novel. إنه يقرأ رواية. So we have is because we have he, and we have the verb read plus ing. Okay. Now what can we see in this second picture? As you can see, we have many students uh, listening to their teacher in the class. لدينا عدة عدد من الطلاب يستمعون إلى شرح المدرس. So we say they are. Listening to the teacher. Okay. Now let's uh, try to describe what each is doing in this sentence. As you can see, we have a family. And this family has um, some members. هناك بعض الأفراد من عائلة ما. They are sitting in the living room, and each one of them is doing something different. Let's start uh, to describe some of them. Let's start, for example, with Dad. What is Dad doing? Okay, we say Dad, Dad. Of course, is because this singular is pouring tea. Yasub shay. Let's see, for example, baby Ben. We say baby Ben. What is he doing? Is playing. Okay. What is Yusil doing? Yusil is sleeping. Okay. And the last one we are going to talk about is Grandma Sue 
الجدة سو غراندما سو is drinking coffee okay thank you very much for your careful listening